guys, it's Nikki Jabora for Troy Build Canada, and today I want to show you how to make your own holiday or winter planter for your front step. As you can see, I've gathered lots of materials here in front of me today. All of these pretty much came from my own garden, well, except for the magnolias, but I want to go through a few of these things and talk a bit about how to make your own planter, and then I'll demonstrate making one, because my front porch, it still has my fall pots on it, it's time for that winter upgrade. So we're going to learn how to do that today. But let me tell you, this is easy, this is fun. You don't have to necessarily go and buy your, your winter planters from a, a local garden center. You can make them yourself with little to no experience because let me tell you, I am no professional arranger, but I still love to do it. It's so much fun and again, it's really easy to do. So let me talk a bit about what I've got in front of me. I've got a bunch of different kinds of evergreens uh, and I actually cut these from my own property. Make sure if you're gathering evergreens, it's from your own property uh, and you're also pruning smart. You're not just hacking these boughs off your trees and shrubs. You're doing pruning that will benefit the overall health of the tree. Look for branches that maybe were crossing or damaged and remove those first. Uh, you know, I've also got some pine, uh, I've got some false cypress, I've got some cedar. So I picked a bunch of different types of greenery today because I love the different kinds of colors. Not all greenery is green. I mean, a lot of things have a gold or blue tint to them, and it's nice to use that in your planters for different textures and color combinations. Uh, I've also picked up some magnolia leaves for greenery. Look at these, they are spectacular. They've got that beautiful fuzzy brown underside, which contrasts nicely with the glossy green leaf top. So these are gonna be fun to combine as well. Um, and I picked up some wolf foliage slash berries some holly here I'm going to use for my planter. Um, I've got some beautiful dogwood stems. You can also use birch branches for vertical interest, but it's just so much fun to gather some of these things from your property. But if you don't have a big garden, you know, you can obviously certainly buy these from a florist, a local garden center. Lots of places sell all of these different types of things branches, berries, and greenery come late fall. So you can make your own planters and wreaths and swags and other indoor and outdoor holiday decor. So I think it's time to get started. Are you ready? Let's get planting. I'm ready to put this container together. I've gathered all my materials. I have my branches, boughs, and berries ready to go. And I also have a container. I've chosen a black plastic container because in my northern climate, clay or terracotta pots tend to break in the winter. So I've picked a container that's not going to break. Uh, I've also filled it about three quarters full of potting mix. You can also use garden soil or sand and that'll just help anchor the branches in place so that your container lasts for months and not just weeks or days. You want to make sure everything is nice and secure as you put the planter together. I also have some cutting tools. I have hand pruners which will help me uh, trim down some of these branches as I go to make sure my arrangement is well balanced and looks good. And for larger diameter branches I have a pair of loppers so this just makes cutting a snap uh, and make sure I can quickly get the sizes I need for creating this arrangement. That was quick and easy. It took me less than 10 minutes to create this beautiful arrangement for my front porch that's now gonna look fantastic for the next couple of months. Big thanks to Troy Build Canada, and if you're gonna be making your own planter, be sure to tag me on social media. I'd love to see it. 